India will formally split up occupied Jammu and Kashmir into two federal territories on Thursday, aiming to tighten its grip on the restive region that has been in the grip of a harsh security clampdown for nearly three months. Hello and welcome to this episode of The Press Room. My name is Amal Chaudhary and let me tell you that yes, above lines were reported by none other than the Dawn. So let's start today's episode with what they have to say. From day one, just like the rest of the Indians, I have a problem with the term Indian Occupied Kashmir. Like from eternity, it's a part of India and will always be. But I understand that's part of a routine news reporting, so let's move on. Don says something more and I quote, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Hindu nationalist government withdrew occupied Kashmir's autonomy in August. But in addition, it also announced its division into two territories to be directly ruled from New Delhi. One consisting of Jammu and Kashmir and the other remote Buddhist enclave of Ladakh. Hindu nationalist government? <laughs> like really? Have you for once gone through our news websites? Have we ever said that Pakistan PM Imran Khan's Muslim government? Did we? It's really childish on your part to report like this, Don. When will you grow up? The nation really wants to know. Moving on, we have BBC and this is what they have to say. And not only this, they also report it in a way which they try to imply that as if the EU MEPs have committed a crime coming to Kashmir. And they say, and I quote, a group of largely right-wing European parliamentaries have visited Indian administered Kashmir, prompting outrage from local politicians who have not been allowed to go. The visit has been criticized as nothing more than a PR stunt. Okay, BBC, let me break it to you. The EU MPs coming to Kashmir is not any small feat. So stop giving it a religious color by saying far right. And of course, there will be protests from the local politicians. And that is understandable because they have been put under war so there can be peace and it can be maintained in the valley. And that is the reason why they will create a ruckus. And lastly, we have Al Jazeera and this is what they have to say. Al Jazeera says, and I quote, Facebook is failing to rein in a tsunami of hate posts inflaming ethnic tensions in India's Assam state. Campaign group Awaaz said on Wednesday with content about criminals, rapists, terrorists and dogs shared about a lakh number of times. I agree that social media is a place where there is a lot of negativity and some people don't just let go a chance of spreading it. But the government is trying its best to curb such practices. So specifically, focusing such news only on India is a clear indication that you are trying to create a divide among different sections of the Indian people. This is really a bad approach to report such issues, Al Jazeera. Shouldn't you be more careful while reporting such news reports? So this is it from this episode of Depressed Room. Until the next time, keep watching My Nation for more such videos.